What is up, everyone? This is the King and bringing you some Black Ops 2 on Meltdown. Alright, guys, so this is my first impression video of this map, or this game, actually, not the map. This game is awesome so far. You know, I'm sure I'll be hating it in like six months or so, three months. But um, I think I will 10th prestige on this one, whatever the max prestige is, and go hard on it. Unlike a lot of the other ones I have, like MW3. I like Black Ops, I like MW2. It's just MW3, something was wrong with it. So, this map. Um, I, I start off with that Scorpion class, that is a good class. You should always use that one, pretty much. Like, I'm going to use this one for a while. I'm just going to train, get, when I get my kill streaks, I'm just going to change them. And uh, it actually works even if you're going to use this class. Because that gun's pretty good. This is my first full game. I played part of a game, just kind of warm up, and then I got with my group. So this is my first full game. So this is my first uh, real match playing this. So I'm gonna be a little bit slower, but I'm gonna you know try my best to win. Um, the way this game set up is there's two rounds of domination now, which is pretty sweet. There's two five-minute rounds. It helps you uh, avert spawn traps, so that works out pretty well, I think, in my opinion. Uh, so after five minutes you switch sides and the game starts over pretty much it, but the score is still there so that's pretty cool um, I want to apologize guys because I, I had the chat on you know for live chats and stuff so there's gonna be a you might be able to hear guys talking and stuff it's just gonna be like in-game chat and stuff nothing too to inappropriate or anything but um, yeah so th that's pretty cool just this setup um, the domination setup I mean um, they uh let's go with the uh, score streak next instead of a point streak or kill streak there's a score streak the score streak um you, you use it as uh, like you get 100 points per kill you get 200 point or 150 or 100 points for a capture and uh uav is like 300 points it's going by the score not by points or by kills so that's how you get your stuff there's a little bar down there in the bottom right that shows you how close you are and what which ones would uh, kill streaks you already have, and uh, the, it it helps you out a lot. I mean, it's uh it's pretty good. Like uh, it, you get quite a bit of uh, kill streaks and or points or score streaks now, and uh, you know you, it it kind of it helps a lot. I mean, like uh, these guys were going for be hard in this game. It made it a lot more interesting, actually, like a game, and it wasn't like an easy win or anything. People were actually playing the objective, so maybe there won't be so many guys just like uh, just like destroying everyone with kills on this one. Hopefully, but. Um, uh, early on it seemed like the lag compensation was pretty good, but then as I went on it kind of seemed like it wasn't as well. So I'm not sure what's the deal with that is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some, I only played one day, so for like an hour or two, so I'm going to be my second. I'm going to play you right after I'm done commentating this. Um, so there's the point streak. The way you create a class now is you have ten points pretty much, and um, each, everything you have costs a point. So... Uh, your primary, your secondary, uh, all three perks, so that's five. Uh, a gr grenade and attack, gr each attack grenade counts as one point, so that's normally eight that you'd be you have, so eight of ten. Um, there's these three things at the very bottom. Well, it, the, it gives you ten, and it's a accounting for two attachments on your primary. So if you just wanted to go all around like that, like normal, um, without doing anything special, just kind of do it old school style, that, that'd be how it would go. If you want to change some stuff and make it more um, the way that th it's meant to on this game, there's three wild card slots at the very bottom of the uh, create a class thing, and they all do different things. Um, one of them is it gives you um, you you can it costs a point to use each one of these things, but you can remove anything you want pretty much. Like I normally don't run around with a secondary. You can run around with no. Uh, grenade if you wanted to. You can get rid of one of your ta tactical grenades, both your tactical, tactical grenades. You can get rid of one of your perks if you don't want it. I mean, I don't see really the point unless you, I mean, you want to go with more attachments, but you can only have two. You can go up to three as a max as a wild card perk. The wild card perks cost one plus whatever perk you want to replace it with. The wild card things, it gives you a choice to replace with perk one, perk two, perk three or um, you can do two primaries, so like overkill, you can have two attachments on your your uh, secondary, you can have three attachments on your primary, I believe, so you can just do different stuff like that, just kind of mix it up and see what, see what you want to do um, for the, in the long run, and see we're getting pretty close to the, end of the first round, and it's a, you know, it's a pretty, pretty good match so far, I mean, uh, I've been doing pretty well, this game is a lot of fun, I, I've really enjoyed it, 
Um, one thing that, you know, this kind of seems kind of weird, like, uh, it's going to be hard to prestige is a lot of the starting guns are not very good besides this, you know, on this class right here. So you might have to use this one for a while until you actually get up a little bit. But uh, if you're doing things to, to progress faster, then, it, you know, you should be okay. Like, if you're going to... Things that help you progress faster, using low kill streaks that helps a lot. UAV gives you 10 points per assist while or ev for every using an assist pretty much for was worth 10 points for every kill that you get during um, during while or while the UAV is up. So that, that's pretty good. That's just like a little bonus. So that that's pretty well on top of that. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of, like, so there's a good low kill streaks. There's also a RC car and a, um, a hunter killer, which is like this airplane thing. You throw it in the sky and it die bomb kamikazes, uh, the other team. And you get kills with it like crazy, just like every single time, just about. So that's really good to have. I, I really enjoyed using that one. I'm not, not so much the RC car, but it's just a low kill streak and it's better than me having to wait for a care package. To learn out, learn, learn some of the score streaks, I would recommend using the, uh, the care package. It helps out a lot. Uh, the death machine is on this game. It's a lot less powerful than it was in the other one, but it you know it has some advantages. Um, when you die, you keep it. It just stays down there on your kill streak thing, so you just have to keep uh, pulling it back out. But it's a lot weaker, so uh, it kind of compensates for it. That guy sucks at shooting. Uh, so that guy keeps doing that, or uh, you know that that helps with the compensation for that. Um, this guy's just destroying something with whatever this is. I don't even know what it is. Uh, doing some wrecking some shop though. Seems like up in here. Uh, and see another thing I liked about this map that it kind of went overkill and like not allowing spawn tramp camping, but you know it's better I guess to overkill than not overkill because people eventually find a way around it. But, uh, you know, you switch during the middle of the map, so it's like you, you only have five minutes to set up a spawn trap. And it, it's kind of, it's, I mean, you can do it in like two minutes probably, but it's only three minutes of killing. It's really not as worth it as much. And uh, it's it's just harder to lay down on this because there's so many spots where you can go through it. Unless they, I mean, unless they just force you back really far. But eventually, I think the spawning on this game seems a lot better, so you'll probably spawn behind, behind them. Um, I mean, I've had guys spawn right behind me, which is better than guys, you know, I don't know. I mean, if you're pushing up that far, then I guess it's better, but it's uh, it does seem to help. So there's the point streaks, they're new, the creative class system's new. I like both of those. Um, the dolphin diving's back, which I love. If you don't roll with the secondary, um, then you have a combat knife, which is pretty cool. It's like, kind of like the old ballistic knife, uh, knifing system. So that's pretty sweet doing it like that too. Um, I'm gonna be going really hard for a triple double or whatever um, it is. You know, ten captures, ten defends. I had one game, um, nine captures, thirteen defends, and I was going so hard for that tenth capture. And I was just I was running them back and forth, back and forth on this thing. But you know, five minutes it does it does cut down on your running time a little bit. But I, I'm gonna try and get y'all a triple double up up on the channel. One of the things I have noticed, too, is there's a uh, pistol that's a three-round burst. As I picked up the FA. I was going to test it, but I, I mean, I, I didn't really... I'm not very good with it yet. I didn't know what it was. There's a lot of guns are different. I mean, uh, there's... Some of the guns uh, are semi-automatic or fully auto that used to be semi-automatic. Three-round burst. That was a hunter-killer thing. If you saw it, it was, the, it was a little plane turned sideways. So it kind of looked, looked like a missile, but it was really the hunter-killer thing. So I think it's pretty sweet. And that was it right there and uh that's me being terrible they kind of got you know there's no uh, hard hard or uh, pro perks anymore but what they did is they made them all like uh, attachments on your gun there's like 15 attachments you can lock on your gun so that's pretty sweet too um like there's no steady aim anymore but you get a uh a laser sight on it and it works exactly the same uh so there's no pro perks but you know you can have multiple perks with the uh, wild card system, with no no perk so far seem too overpowered, and the way they got it set up is I think if you stand still for a certain amount of time, then you automatically be able to be seen on the radar. So, you know that helps too with uh, campers and stuff. I don't think it matters if they, even if they have ghost on. I don't think it matters. 
And I don't know, some dude's fire alarm or something or <laughs> smoke alarm game started going off in the middle of this game, so hopefully that's not too irritating to y'all. Um, he's in my party and I don't want to meet him because he, he was giving good call outs and stuff, so um, I'm, I'm going to have the sound down quite a bit just so you can't hear them anyway, but I highly recommend this game. It's pretty sweet. And, uh, you know, like it doesn't. I haven't run into anyone that's too ridiculous, and the lag. I had a little bit of lag issues yesterday, but. For the most part, it seems much better than the last game. And, uh, I'm giving it my seal of approval. And, the uh, C4 is great. I mean, I do some serious owning with some C4. And, uh, I like that there's no stalker, no perk. So far, same two overpowered. Um, you can have pretty good setups and, like, mixes and stuff. But it's it gives you a lot of uh, room to experiment. And it's not an easy-to-play game. You have to have some skill to play this game. It's... A lot of the starting guns are not easy to use, so you kind of have to work with them. Alright, this has been the Keenator. I'll see y'all guys later. Keenator, out.